to my channel guys it's your girl coco styles and on this channel we talk about beauty fashion and lifestyle i also run a blog called coco styles ny where you can find articles about fashion and what to wear with with what and other things like vegan stuff because you guys know i'm a vegan but today i have five style mistakes that women are making that we can fix right away so i'm just gonna jump right into it and i wrote some notes down guys because i was out this weekend and i saw some things <laughs> that i thought that i would kind of talk about today and some of the things may be a little controversial but i'll tell you why i'll tell you why my thought is for this particular one so the first one is one of the biggest style mistakes that women do is wearing clothes that are too tight for them and I don't mean too tight as in a bandage dress I mean they will have on jeans that are too tight around the waist so what happens is your size is spilling over or if you're wearing a bra that is too small and you're spilling over the top or you're spilling over at the sides so things like that you know that you have to size up. When it comes to wearing jeans that are too tight around the waist, it just it's not flattering at all. And sometimes in the front of your pants, you can actually tell because it's pulling too. So even if you have on a sweater or a shirt that's covering it, you could actually tell from the crotch area that it's pinching your leg because they're too small. And when it comes to bras, again, like I said, you can tell from the top when you're spilling over or the sides. So button down shirts, and I'm talking about button downs because I made a mistake yesterday where the shirt fit me really nice, but it was slightly, I don't know, it was just right here, <laughs> could have been my bra, but it was slightly open. So I know that I should have sized up in that shirt and actually got it tailored to fit me better. So always size up if it's too small and just get it tailored. So that's number one is Style mistake number one is wearing clothing that is too tight for your body type. Number two is too many accessories. Okay, I have on large earrings today, but I do not have on a necklace. And that is because it will be too busy. Too busy, guys. You cannot have on large earrings and a large necklace. It just does not go together. It just looks extremely busy. My rule of thumb is if you wear large earrings, you can wear a petite necklace or don't wear a necklace at all. You may not also want to wear a large bracelet. So I have one, just a watch and like a David Ehrman bracelet, just something simple. Um, keep it very simple because the larger your pieces are, the more statement of a piece it is. So you don't need to have multiple statement pieces. Show us what you're trying to show off, which is probably your earrings or if it's your necklace, you wear a larger necklace and you wear smaller earrings. I always say that. And even when it comes to tight clothing, I would definitely do a fitted top with looser pants or tighter pants and a flowy top. Um, and I've been like this since I was a teen. I've never really liked to wear both tight things. It just seems a little weird on me. Um, so that's number two. Too many accessories. And the fix for that is have one statement piece and I'm taking out the purse because your purse is something else but if your purse has a lot of stuff going on that's also considered a statement piece so you may want to like tone down the accessories and stuff so it just depends on what you're wearing but pay close attention to stuff like that your bag and your bracelets and your earrings and your necklaces so that's number two number three would be oh my goodness this is what I saw yesterday panty lines oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness now ladies they have so many different panty line panties <laughs> undergarments that we can purchase now they have seamless underwear they have uh thongs that are seamless because all thongs are not made equally we know this because sometimes they have a bunch of stuff on the back where you can still actually see it through your clothing um then they have g-strings uh, a lot of people don't like g-strings because they're really thin um but it's like you're wearing nothing <laughs> yeah because you're just covering the front but um you have you have those things so panty lines if you have to wear a spank that'll smooth it out do that it's not cute to see your panty line in your pants. 
and listen I'm one to throw on some big granny drawers because <laughs> they're just so comfortable. Um, but I don't want anybody staring at me if I have, you can see my panty lines. And we know people stare, women stare, men stare, kids stare. So try to find the best undergarments for your clothing and go from there. I'm gonna see if I can find some good brands for you guys that I use, um, that I can recommend uh, for you ladies and just and, and like I said, even seamless underwear are not all created equally either because sometimes they roll a little bit. So you have to think about that too. So that's number three, that is showing your panty lines. And bras too. So again, with the bras, you don't want to be spilling over. You don't want the sides to be spilling over. So just be mindful of stuff like that. So number four would be, and this is the one guys I think you guys may have something to say about it, but dressing too young for your age. And I don't mean wearing like a mini skirt maybe, I don't know. But I mean like shopping at teen stores like Forever 21, <laughs> for example. The stuff is very young. And I also think that it's not a great quality. So I think that as the older we get, we should be incorporating clothing that we can have for a long time. Enough with spending money over and over and over, uh, buying stuff from Forever 21. Uh, try to just get a better quality. But I think when I, when I think of Forever 21, I think of 21 and under, I don't know, I do. <laughs> um, so when I see older women shopping in there, I'm just like, hi. And I already know how it's gonna look on them. Um, you don't have to stay away from, I don't really like trends, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's not for your age. I do feel that you can incorporate some of the trends into your, your style. But let it be age appropriate, guys. Like. You know, yes, we can still wear shorter skirts and stuff like that in a nice way, because I, I see it all the time. I'm from New York, so growing up in New York, I've seen it. Going to work, I've seen it, I've seen it all. So I've seen ladies who can wear short skirts to an office and no one say anything because she's petite. And then you have those who are thicker is they're gonna say something so just be mindful of your body type too I'm probably gonna do a body type video I'm just trying to make sure that I have everything maybe for you guys but um yeah so that's number four is dressing too young for your age guys and comment below what do you think what do you consider is dressing too young um I'll give you another example when I see some guys in like Oh, don't kill me guys like multiple chains and stuff and I know that they're older or they have like just like a, just just almost like really busy looking honestly it's, it's a turn off for me um, I don't think men have to do a lot to be to look nice and to look put together I think they have it the easiest they have really nice things for men I'm not saying that you have to wear a button-down shirt every day but if you have nice tailored jeans and a shirt, it doesn't matter what, even if you have a hoodie, like it can be a nice hoodie that fits your body. You can still look really nice in that. So enough about that dressing too young. And my last style mistake that I see women make is overdoing it with patterns. Now, I'm gonna try to find, so I'm gonna insert some pictures of ways that I think that you can mix patterns and it looks really nice. And I'm gonna insert some <laughs> that they're overdoing it. Like it's just, they're just trying to, I don't know, make a statement, but it doesn't look good to me. Um, they may like it, but if you really think about it, it's, it just looks like a bunch of stuff just thrown together. And um, they do have ways you can mix patterns and you can really put it off, pull it off really well. So. I'll link some pictures and stuff for you guys, or I'll just insert some for you guys. And let me know what you guys think about any of these. Do you have any style mistakes that you have done, or do, do you do any of these things on this list? And if you have any others, let me know. So if you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco underscore styles and underscore NY. And go follow my blog at Coco Styles NY. 
and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.